Today I'm taking a look at an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. There are different models available. This particular model has only a simple operation, three buttons, uh, on, off, and reset. And there are some that have digital displays and timers. The instruction manual actually shows the different models available and there is some detail provided on the different models as well. So depending upon what your needs are, you may want to look at different options, uh, size, features, and such. So the instructions are actually quite clear on some of the things that you will and will not want to do. So obviously review that before using this or any other ultrasonic cleaning type tool of this nature so that you can make sure you don't damage any of the uh, items that you're cleaning. I've used these to clean glasses and I have another unit uh, similar to this that I've used in the past to clean jewelry. So we're going to clean a few items. Uh, none of them are actually very, very dirty, but hopefully we'll see at least some small change in the cleanliness of them. Uh, I kind of tend to keep most of my jewelry clean and it takes a long time for them to become dirty. So basically what we have here is the unit itself. It's relatively small. As you can see, it has a uh, automatic three minute run time, then it shuts off has a small LED when it's running, a clear window so that you can actually see inside. It has this to put a watch on in case you want to raise it up out of the water or you can use it to put uh, maybe rings or something on if you need to have something uh, held up, bracelets and such. It has a kind of a snap closed lid here. You have a little basket, you have the max fill line that you can actually see maybe not show up too well here uh, 304 stainless steel tank and the power cord is just over four feet long so basically this thing takes 35 watts as far as power goes runs at 40 kilohertz and it works on a process called cavitation without getting into too much detail basically little bubbles are going to be formed those bubbles will go into the small areas in, in the jewelry and hopefully the idea of course is to clean them and you can do a little better job of cleaning by adding a few drops of dishwashing soap and you can actually warm the water so that it will do a little better job of cleaning. I wouldn't use boiling water but you would get better results if you use warm water. So we basically just use this cup Pretty much takes an entire cup there. I'll drop this basket down in. And I'm going to go ahead and just drop this stuff in. This is just gold and silver, so, and the stones should not be damaged. Close that down. Go ahead and plug this in. And we're going to go ahead and run this. It's not very loud as you'll hear. It has small rubber feet on the bottom that cushion it and it's on a hard surface so there's no problem with any uh, overheating issues so a soft surface obviously not ideal and let's see if I can move the camera so that you can see some of the bubbles being formed hopefully Maybe you can see some of the actual bubbles being formed. All right, so we'll let that run and we'll take a look at it in the after. All right, so if you wanted to run this longer, you could do so. There's a reset button here. Uh, I said on and off button. You're not supposed to run it more than an hour and as you just heard 
it has completed the process. You saw it, sh you know, stop, shut off. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see the LED showing up too well on the camera. So we'll open it up. And, and again, you're not going to notice a major difference. I did not add soap and I'm not using hot water for the purpose of this demonstration. I don't want to spill this everywhere. So I don't expect this to be like dramatic or anything. And again, it wasn't very dirty to begin with. And when you're using these, even if you are using like much more expensive type units, it probably would be ideal to use a soft brush and uh, some kind of soft towel to clean with after you're finished just to you know further clean the, the jewelry uh, that you're cleaning or eyeglasses or whatever other you know type things they actually list quite a bit of uh, information on different things you can use to clean this with so if you want to look at that uh, there's a link provided down below but hopefully this is you know somewhat useful gives you some idea you can like say see through the top so it's kind of nice to see uh, the cleaning process and again I don't expect to see major major differences uh, I do feel it looks like I mean obviously it's probably not going to show up on camera but some of the little uh, recessed areas look like they're a little cleaner than they were so that's nice um, sometimes when you clean some jewelry I did clean a watch once and it had uh, sort of stuff floating in the uh, water when it was finished so it does actually do a good job I just don't have anything personally that I own that's dirty enough to show a dramatic difference but uh, I've cleaned a watch for someone else and uh, obviously it did a good job in that because there was little particulates uh, you know floating around I guess maybe it's dead skin cells and things of that nature that accumulate uh, in watch bands and stuff over time. I mean, it's kind of gross, but it's nice to have the option to clean it very easily. And it only takes a few minutes to do so. But again, uh, warmer water, a little bit of detergent will actually help, a, you know, considerably. So amount. just to give you an idea of what it looks like, if you toss in a couple of drops of soap, it doesn't take very long at all. And you have a nice layer of bubbles created. So you can actually, as I said before, just throw in a little bit of soap. Some warm water which I did this time and you'll get a better cleaning right, better so I wanted to result. give you kind of a after I mean obviously as like I said you can't there wasn't a whole lot of dirty to see beforehand but I can see a difference in person probably more than you can see I'm sure but uh, down in the crevices especially the back side of this nugget this gold nugget bracelet uh, definitely made a nice difference um, overall I can save you a lot of time and let you know warm water and soap added to that makes a world of difference that is going to give you a much much better end result so I highly suggest you do that again you don't need boiling water all you need is warm water and some soap and you will get a much much better end result so that's pretty much it just uh, again read the warnings about what you can and cannot use this unit with so you don't damage softer metals and certain stones uh, the cavitation process can cause what's called cavitation burning you don't want that to happen especially if you have very nice or delicate jewelry or other products that you want to clean but other than that I hope that this is somewhat useful and you can of course again find out more by checking the link below the video and read other reviews details and such uh, this particular unit priced right around 30 bucks at the time of this uh, video okay thank you